Tonight, we know the DeKalb County District Attorney's Office will no longer be involved in an investigation surrounding a shooting at the future site of an Atlanta police training facility. The DA voluntarily recused herself just hours ago. 11 Alive's Brittany Kleinpeter has more on her decision. District Attorney Sherry Boston says she feels recusing herself is the right thing to do and avoids any appearance of impropriety. I intend for the investigation to be impartial and therefore I am removing myself from the situation. DA Boston says the recusal only impacts the investigation of the shooting that led to a Georgia State Trooper being rushed to the ICU and protester Manuel Paez Tehran being shot and killed at the future site of the Atlanta Police Training Facility, which protesters have called Cop City. I hope that what this instills with um, protesters on the ground is that this will get a full, fair, impartial and independent look, which I think is is important for our community and for everyone um, that is mourning the death of Manuel. Boston says this is the first time she has ever recused herself from a case, adding that her office will still be involved in handling cases currently filed against Cop City protesters arrested in DeKalb. My decision is based upon several factors, including our ongoing involvement in the multi-jurisdictional task force charged with holding those responsible who commit crimes and ensure a safe environment in the process. DeKalb County Court shows 27 protesters have been arrested since December as a part of a criminal case. That case doesn't include charges tied to this weekend's protests in downtown Atlanta that resulted in damage to businesses and an Atlanta police cruiser being burned. The six people arrested Saturday are being charged by the Fulton County District Attorney. With DA Boston's recusal, state law shows the prosecuting attorney counsel would now appoint a new prosecutor to handle the case. Reporting in DeKalb County, Brittany Kleinputer, 11 Alive News.